Evening folks, KT here, episode 12 of Everyday KT. So today, first thing I'm going to do is give a shout out to Dirk over at Got Kilt. As you can see, I've got my Got Kilt shirt on. He uh, sent it over when he sent over this kilt he made. It is the only currently active, uh, allowed company to make the Brotherhood of the Kilt Tartan Kilts. And it's pretty awesome. So it's uh, got-kilt.com. Go check them out. Uh, they're on Facebook. They're all over the place. Tell them KT sent you. So, episode 12 of Everyday KT is all about how to buy a kilt. You know, there are tons of people on the internet who are selling kilts. You can get them made in Scotland, designed in Scotland, thought about in Scotland, talked about in Scotland, who knows. A couple things you got to know about. First things first, if it's your first kilt, do not just up and buy one unless you are completely willing to throw it away. Um, always, with the first, unless, you, unless of course you go with the sport kilt. But what you're going to do is find other people who wear kilts. Go to you know my website, kiltrock.com. Ask me over at my uh, KT the Kilt Man page or watch my videos. You know, Everyday KT. Talk to people who have kilts. Talk to people who wear them. Talk to people who make them. Find out where the kilt is made, how it's made, what it's made out of. If you're going to spend $800 on a handmade kilt, make sure the thing's made by some guy sitting over, or girl, sitting over a table in Scotland with a thread needle for 40, 50 hours. Make sure you know where your kilt is coming from. Always. If you find a deal online and it says... Custom handmade in Scotland kilt for $30. I would call BS on that one completely. A $30 kilt. It's machine made by somebody who knows where. And the quality is probably subpar. I've had several of them. I don't wear any of them. Unless I know that it's going to get trashed. Uh, the, the, the sets might be wrong. It might be, feel like you're wearing burlap. Uh, there may be huge tears in, hidden in the pleats. All manner of problems come from really cheap kilts. That being said, there is a place for them. You know, your first kilt, you want to try it out. Absolutely. If you find a kilt somewhere, dirt cheap, accept the fact that it's probably not going to be one you're going to wear all the time. Go ahead. Try it out. Take it for a spin. Take it to the bar. Do uh, one of those mud runs in it. Fine. When it comes time to actually throw down and get a really nice kilt, do your research. Ask someone. Ask people who have ordered from the people you're ordering from. Call them directly. Do your research and ask questions. Always ask questions when it comes to buying your kilt, especially if you don't know who it's coming from. So, that being said, see, uh, see what the old Kiltology comes up with. And uh, I flipped it open just before the... Uh, the, I started recording, and it was very appropriate. It says, The wearing of the kilt does not, in itself, entitle its wearer to anything. If you want to be entitled to something, get off your ass and work for it. There is no such thing as a free kilt. Very appropriate for, uh, for today's episode. So, if you have questions... Message me directly on Facebook if you want, or whatever other social media platform you're thinking of. Just uh, make sure you don't waste your money and throw it away on a cheap kilt just because you think it's a steal of the century. It's KT with uh, Everyday KT, and I will see you tomorrow. As always, be strong. Put a kilt on.